Today I have a Bath & Body Works haul and a Sam's Club haul to share with you. A shop with me and haul, but uh, I am walking through the mall real quick to get to Bath & Body Works and I did stop in uh, Dillard's, it's a higher end department store, just to take a really quick peek at their Christmas decor. And they really have some cute things and I'm thinking to myself, hmm, I wonder if I could replicate any of this from the Dollar Tree. Uh, not sure, but I love these nostalgia Christmas trees. My mother-in-law had a couple of those, and I don't think I have any now. I think I used to have one. Of course, now, now they're back in style. Isn't that how it always is? Uh, but yeah, I love shopping for, or I love looking at their Christmas decor here, and you know, every now and then I'll buy something. Um, but they have uh, all their Christmas decor out really pretty stockings and just tree decor their Christmas bedding I really like the neutral kind of subtle colors very classic they had a little bit of their fall sort of uh, uh, stuff out and I'm thinking you know we're we, we aren't even at Thanksgiving yet so it's not too late to buy some Thanksgiving decor too, uh, but I don't think I will be. I have so much stuff at home. I did not see a lot of Christmas fashion, but passed a couple of things. And uh, then I was on my way to Bath and Body Works. And I'm here to look at specifically the new fragrance that they have. I'm gonna show you guys in just a minute. But it was, it smelled so good. And they did have a couple of sales. But this scent right here, um, I really like it. It's a bold kind of dream scent. And I'll show you a closer look here in a minute when I get back to the car. But um, it's sort of a fruit and floral scent and uh, it's called the Dream Bright. It's their brand new scent. I I don't know why, but I just really felt like I wanted to try it out and uh, I really, really like it. So I did end up buying the, the body spray today. And just walking back through the mall, I had to walk by Joann's Fabrics. So I did pop in really quick, but they don't have a whole lot on their shelves yet uh, for Christmas. So I'll be back here to take a look. Uh, they had a few things they were just starting to put out. So uh, pretty much everything was, uh, was pretty bare here. I found some goodies. I went into Dillard's and then I went into Bath & Body Works because uh, I saw they had this new um, new scent and I was really wanting to try it. So uh, it's the um, Dream Bright scent. And I got the, I just got the body spray for me. I, I wanted to smell it and it smells really, really good. Sprayed in here. Oh gosh, it does. It smells really good. Oh, oh especially after the gym. Oh, to refresh. I'm loving this, the Dream Bright, just to the body spray. It really smells good. It's going right in my, my uh, going in my gym bag right now. And then I went ahead and picked up some gifts because um, I have birthdays uh, here this month. So they had buy three, get one. So I got the uh, Lavender Vanilla Sleep Aromatherapy. I got two of those. And I got some uh, Lavender Vanilla. Uh, bath salts so I got those three and then I got the my spray for free and then they had their buy five for five for twenty five dollars five dollars a piece for their Christmas uh, soap and I, I always like to do this frosted cranberry tis the season marshmallow fireside 
mahogany oh that's different mahogany balsam that's interesting I might whoops i might save that for my son uh, i don't know yet and then um let's see the um toasted vanilla chai oh my daughter would like that one so some of these are going to be gifts some of these i will keep i do like to put the seasonal soap uh, on my next to my, my sinks and i have I have a, technically I have one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six sinks in my house. Cause I have one in my laundry room. I have a wet bar with a sink and I have three bathrooms and a kitchen, but I don't put soaps by all of them. Probably, probably just, um, oh, four of them, maybe three or four. All right, I'm gonna run over and meet Melinda for coffee. But yeah, they had the Christmas stuff out. It's so pretty out. Uh, and outside, you know, outside it looks like fall. Um, but when you go into the mall, and plus my colors are fall, I'm like, it's still fall, y'all. It's not Christmas yet. But when you go into the mall, it definitely feels like Christmas. And I told that little gal in there, the, the, the cashier, I said, well, yeah, it's definitely Christmas in the mall and she said yeah but every year you know it's like that and we I went into Joann's but they didn't have a lot of stuff they had a, a lot of their shelves were empty and you could see they were starting to put their Christmas stuff up which is fine with me it's not even Thanksgiving yet so I kind of like that so I'm right, really looking forward to a coffee and again my legs are like rubber like rubber so um I'm going to sit down and, oh, I am going to look in at Barnes & Noble because our Starbucks that I'm going to is in our Barnes & Noble. So I'm going to look at the bookstore, of course, because, well, I just love the bookstore over there. So um, I uh, don't know if I'll buy any books. Well, I might if, they, if I have a sale. <laughs> so, all right, I'm going to, uh, I'll check back in with you guys in just a bit. Barnes & Noble had some really cute things, but I ended up not buying anything. I saw a couple of things, like I know somebody who got one of those, um, I'm gonna say it wrong, charcuterie boards, and they had a really cute cookbook in there. Uh, not cookbook, but all the ideas to, um, to put those together. Everything's online, I know. Some people like books, though. It's hard to know what to do sometimes. They had the official Harry Potter um, uh, advent calendar and for $19 and I thought about getting that but I already have two sort of Harry Potter-ish style so uh, didn't get that um, they have really cute ideas for like journals and things like that for gifts and some of the Hallmark 
ornaments, uh, which I always like to get ornaments for the ki for my, my grown kids and John. We always exchange ornaments. So um, I don't know. I might go take a look at those. Our Hallmark store closed, so we don't have that in our town, but we can order online. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to run over to Sam's Club. I'm hoping to find, so I'm going to see what they have there. I do need to get a couple of things like pistachios and things that are on my list, but I will take a quick, quick peek at the Christmas uh, air section, see what they have. So that's what's next. So I shopped two days before I realized I may be hosting Thanksgiving, uh, which was really a bummer because now I've got to go back, but darn it. But I did pick up one of these plush uh, throws. I picked up a buffalo throw uh, like this for about, it was about 14 bucks and they had a Christmas themed and of course I, I grabbed this. These are really nice and uh, they had a roll back on green beans. They have the chicken broth and, and canned pumpkin. Last year, I remember we had trouble finding that. Uh, they had the onions, the dried onions and the stuffing. Um, I would have picked all of that up if I would have realized that I might be hosting Thanksgiving. Uh, again, uh, things change. We had uh, someone in our family who was going to host got COVID. So now our plans have changed just a little bit. So I think we're all having to be a little flexible this year. They have the cutest Christmas decor, some of this outdoor Christmas decor. Every year I want to come and buy this, but uh, I don't. Now this is cute, this little Santa. I would put that in my house. Uh, but this porch decor, um, I really want to do something with my front porch this year, but I just don't want to spend a lot of money uh, doing it. I'm sort of looking at some of this high end, some of these ideas, and then try, trying to figure out how I can do it a little bit cheaper. So I will be going over to the Dollar Tree uh, here soon to take a look. Uh, but they had a lot of their toys out. They had these half zip sweaters, 22 bucks. Those are really nice. They seem to be kind of like, I don't know if they're considered cropped, but they're not super long. And these jackets were $27 and they were really a, a thick. So I think they would be a really nice little jacket. And you just can't beat Sam's Club pies. Um, I, they're the best. And I definitely will come back and get some pumpkin pies. I have never froze them. If, if I could freeze them and I knew they would still taste good, I would pick them up. Last year I waited too long and I didn't get any pies. But I definitely want some on my Thanksgiving table this year. And uh, their cookies are good too. I didn't buy any. I was sort of thinking about it. Um, but uh, I didn't get any. Those little Christmas icing ones are, are cute. I took a look at those. I've seen other people hauling them. Uh, I don't plan to, to do those myself this year. They have some cute little cookie cakes and uh, their croissants are good. <laughs> I think those make a really good side for holiday dinners and the muffins, of course. I love getting muffins for overnight guests just to have as a snack. Uh, in case they get up early in the morning and we don't have breakfast quite ready, uh, I usually will get muffins, but it's a little too soon for that. So just a quick close-up look of what I ended up getting at Sam's Club. Uh, 14 bucks for this oversized 60 by 70 inch plush Sherpa throw. It's sort of like my buffalo check, but it's in the Christmas colors. So I'm loving the one I have, and this is going to be great for Christmas. And then I got some pistachios. John takes those to work, and they're the lightly salted. Uh, I picked up some New York strip steak this time. Um, now this one is $38.82. There's four in there and we are going to have company. So that's what that's for uh, in the coming weekend. I know we just had steak last weekend, but yep. Anyway, we have a bunch of things going on this month. Um, I bought some spring mix and really it's cheaper to cook steak at home than it is to go out for a steak dinner anymore. I got the green beans. They were on a rollback price. 
I think they were six dollars and something. I don't know. I didn't really need them, but I grabbed them for the sub pantry. And I got a big thing of their bake their baking potatoes. Uh, because their their potatoes are nice and big at Sam's Club, and they're not. This is our favorite place to get them, so I do want to. I did want to come over and grab them, and uh, yeah, they're a pretty good size. These were seven dollars and something. My total Sam's Club bill today was like around eighty-five bucks. So, yeah, for just that. But it is what it is, and that is my Sam's Club haul, y'all. Thank you so much for stopping by today and for watching and just joining me on my journey uh, here uh, on my channel. Uh, I am a woman over 50, um, just vlogging my way through through life right now, through all the changes, the ups and downs. And, um, you know, I really enjoy it. And uh, you guys make it so much fun. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Take good care, and I will see you on the next one. Do you know how much I love you, wanna 